evolving herd creature, an evolving swarm creature, and it's evolving as fast as it can, and, and it feels pain. And as Nicholas Taleb says in Anti-Fragile, pain's a good thing, right? It's, pain. You can tell the difference between people that get it and people that don't get it. There's a, there's a group of people in life that run from pain, mm. and they're attempting to anesthetize themselves and always isolate themselves from pain. And there's a group of people that run toward pain, or at least they embrace pain. Pain's a good thing. The, the more pain you feel, the faster your reflexes. Put your hand on a hot stove, it moves quickly. You have reflexes, mm. right? So that, that, uh, that system is learning, and, it's, and pain is one of our number one information signals, maybe the right. most important information signal to, in order to provide a living organism with vitality. That's right. Yeah. To love says that stressors and pain are indistinguishable from information at the organic level. That is the only way that an organic system learns is by exposure to something that is resistive or conflictive to it. Um, and even at a, a genetic level, uh, there, when a virus invades a host uh, organism and destroys its cells, there's always a few cells that survive. And those cells that survive actually take some of the DNA from the virus that wiped out 99% of their cellular comrades and incorporates that DNA into its own such that it is resistant now to that virus. So it's, it's, it's happening at an informational level, even deep in biology. This isn't just something that happens kind of at the, the, the physical layer here. It happens really, it's quintessential to life, I guess is the point I'm getting at. 